semifinals curse. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, we're supposed to be celebrating and basking in the victory of defeating Bafana Bafana. But yet, here we are hearing that multiple people died the day Nigeria beat South Africa. The Super Eagles match against South Africa is the most talked about AFCON game so far. If you don't agree with me, I don't know where you've been. But that game was intense. It was intense. Like, even me, I couldn't, I was watching it and I clicked off and I said, I couldn't even watch it. It was too much. The whole country had collective high blood pressure. Thankfully, our boys showed up and they showed us the stuff they're made in. And they've secured a position in the finals and they've helped us collect our piano. Sorry, guys. But... In the midst of all this tribulation, there is actually a lot to mourn. And what we're talking about is Cairo Ojubo, an APC chieftain, a youth copper, Kwasu's deputy bursar, Ayuba Abdullahi, one of the Nigerian spare parts business owners in Cote d'Ivoire, and a former member of the House of Reps. They all died during the match. Like, literally, they died from watching football. What? The youth copper serving in Kaduna actually died during the penalty shootout. This was just before Ehenacho kicked the winning goal. Like, someone died. And it's so heartbreaking because I sit down there and I think to myself, how? It's just football. But the thing about this is, the lesson in this is, you guys, your health matters. Like, your health matters. Like, you can't tell me Samuel was, he's a youth copper, <laughs> max 25. And from BP, he died. Everybody else, what would have happened was they, they were feeling the intense pressure and their blood pressure skyrocketed. And you can die when your blood pressure is up, when it's high. And what happens is when you don't check it, when you don't check to see if your body is healthy. Guys, I'm begging you in this year, please go and do a health checkup. Even if you say, ah, I can't afford to go to the doctor, you can buy BP machine from an online platform. Check your BP. If you don't know how to read it, go online, Google it. You can take care of yourself. Even if you're feeling, but to me, there's no money that you say is too much to check on your health. Your health is wealth, guys. Sending our love and prayers to all the families of the loved ones that have departed. May their souls rest in perfect peace. In other news, China is celebrating their new year. If I had a time machine, I'd teleport myself straight to a different culture and I'd soak it all in. You're wrong if you think the whole world kicked off their new year on January 1st. I know, right? China has got its own countdown that's very different. It's the Chinese lunar calendar and it is the year of the dragon. It's fascinating how there are several different cultural significances for so many different reasons. What blew my mind is realizing that Nigerians are also getting in on the Chinese New Year action. It was even recognized by the UN and they avoid holding meetings on February 10th of this year because they're trying to let the Chinese celebrate their own New Year. The Chinese New Year is being celebrated for a whole week. They don't go to work, they have some time with their family, they eat dumplings, and they just have a good time. By the way, if you've never tried dumplings, you should. Chef's kiss, they're amazing. Now, this is a great time to spend watching China's Spring Festival, and the festival is aired on CGTN, China's global television network, which is also one of the most watched TV shows on Earth, I promise you. It's been airing since 1983, and you can go ahead and log onto your Facebook, your X, your YouTube, and search for CGTN and tune in on this amazing festival gala. These videos are sourced from CGTN. Now I am on a mission. I gotta catch the Chinese New Year celebrations live and direct in the heart of China. So you never know, this time next year, you might just see me in China. The colors, the traditions, the whole shebang, I absolutely love it. Happy celebrations to China. I'm over there with you in spirit. Is anyone possibly going to be dressed enough to experience the Chinese New Year? Comment down below and let me know. Maybe we'll go together next year. My name is Vanali and I'll see you on the next episode of The Scoop. Bye.